Art and culture are two from a coin in the life of man. While they can be applied to many of our endeavors, there are specific ways of expressing them, one of which is poem recitation and or spoken words. When we talk about poem, many will understand it as a piece of art composed in a unique diction that conveys messages, feelings and emotions which mostly come from the heart. It is a common knowledge that the language of poetry is technical and most of its messages are targeted. But then, why do poets prefer to explore their emotions through poetry? Salim Yunusa is a bright young poet, a translator and also the founder of Poetic Wednesday's initiative and he tries to answer this question. I think it's, it all boils down to the craft you know most. You know, they are very comfortable using poetry. I, for example, I am very versed in prose and also I dabble into poetry and, and photography. So as an artist, you are very creative and your minds give you that, that, you know, freedom to explore different crafts. But poetry, for me, I like using poetry if I want to hide a message. I don't want it to be very glad in the open. I want you to walk see what I'm saying. Not just rhymes or rhythms or anything, but I like hiding my messages inside poems. And you're making it immortal by writing it in poetry in the sense that it is, it's always going to be there. Nobody's going to tamper with it. I think we had this discussion a few days back that poetry is elitist. I don't think poetry is elitist. I think if people are interested in a language, uh, or in any text that you're doing, they would go and learn. I don't think as an artist you are doing yourself justice to to dilute your message so that everybody can understand, to dilute your language or your vocabulary. Because, you know, you are doing it for you. The first and foremost thing about poetry is you are doing it for yourself. You are getting those feelings, those emotions out, and you are writing them, and someone picks interest. So I don't think it is fair for the reader to come and say, no, your poem is too difficult, I don't understand it. Salim Yunusa, though a young poet, but has so far been able to write over 400 poems since 2018. Until date, he is a weekly publisher of poetry on Poetic Wednesdays. We ask him of his favorite ones. I, I don't show favoritism among my children. If I, would, if I am a father, I would not show that. So also with my poems, I don't think I, I have a favorite. You know, every single one that I write is at a certain frame of time and mind. That, okay, I need this to come out of me. And when I give birth to that poem, I love it so much. And then another one comes in and I also love it. There is a poem that I wrote. It is titled... Um, Almajari Lives Matters and it goes like this. Almajari Lives Matter His clothes tattered His hair matted His tears splattered His hopes shattered His dreams scattered His innocence battered But his life matters. He is a human being, like any other child we see on the road. He is there, he survives, and he is alive. While the society and the government and his parents used to ignore him, he is there and he matters. And we don't know what that child can become tomorrow. So it is up to us, it is our responsibility to make sure that that child has a good upbring upbringing, he is looked after, and he is sent to get an education so that he can amount to being something in the society. So he matters, just like you and I and any other person in, the, in this country matters. He matters. It is a fact that poets are golden minds in our societies, for everything about it is unique and slightly technical. Mr. Salim shared his line of thought on how to raise a sound poet. To be a poet, you have to be a reader. You have to be a very vast reader and you cannot be selective to say okay I love this guy's poems so I'm going to just study his style or something like that. You have to read 
a lot of text, a lot of um, collections, a lot of anthologies, so that you get to see, get to understand, get the feelings of others. That's one. Number two, you have to also, it has to be original, it has to be from the heart. Just don't be a poet because everybody is becoming a poet. Be a poet because you want to be a poet. Be a poet because you have something to say. That is the most important thing. If you have nothing to say, you are going to be writing poems that lack substance. And it's not going to take you anywhere. As a reader, I have, I have connected with so many people around the world and it has helped me in ways that people around me haven't even helped me. So whoever is watching this, your points, your concerns, your voice, your stories, they matter and they deserve to be heard by the world. So write and read. Read and write, write and read. Do that and, you know, uh, I think that's the message I have for the world. Yusuf Lawal Wakili, KSMC Breakfast.